What's going on guys? I'm Tristan. Welcome back to Straight Line Solutions. Today we got an episode for you bullnose lovers. Let's get started. This is not going on. This is going to be a terrible idea. <laughs> This is my 1986 Ford F-250. I picked this truck up earlier this year for $700 from a junkyard. The pack rats had gotten loose and eaten all the wiring up, in, up underneath the intake on the right hand side of the motor and eaten most of the wiring in the cab. Somehow, miraculously, this truck started and ran on four cylinders. After getting all the wiring re-soldered back together and I put a new harness in it, and a new radiator and got it freshened up. The thing's running like a screaming banshee now. The screaming what? It was originally a 302 AOD4 truck, but as the AOD4s do, it went out and I swapped in a C6 automatic in it. And now we have a pretty bulletproof combo. I've owned a lot of bullnoses through the years. My first pickup was actually a bullnose. They are one of my favorite body style Ford pickup. And when I saw this one and saw that it was a fuel injected with the 302 in it, I decided I had to have it. What we're going to end up doing today is building a boom pole set up in the back of it to pretty much make a redneck off-road tow truck. Let's get started. Basically, what the plan here is, I'm going to have to rewrap some fuel lines. I know it looks a little scary on top of the fuel tank, but we're going to take care of that. This piece is going to be welded solid in here. There will be a giant hole cut here. We'll notch this back further. That big pipe there will be the boom. And that little pipe right there is gonna slide inside of it. The big pipe is gonna slide into the hole on this and there will be a pin on the middle of it. It's gonna run back all the way up. And there will be two supporting pipes here and here bolted through the frame with a skid and there will be a piece right up in the middle of it that holds that pipe that comes out and there will be a hitch pin that sits down so you can unpin it take this bolt out take that bolt out unpin back there and you can slide the whole mess out of here and have a pickup again not that that'll ever really happen in the future, but we'll see what happens. So let's get back to it. got those bolts out because I'm lazy and I don't like crawling underneath and getting dirt and everything in my face. I'm gonna put that long bolt right through there. And this is what used to be in there. There she is. That's the uh, 
bed to frame bolt. We stuck that big old long bolt through there. And the skids slide right over the top of that, right out to the edge of the bed. Cut a little hole right in there. That bolt will come up through the other side. Stick a nut on it and side pipes come up up and out and we'll meet that middle boom it goes right down in there do the same thing on this side up and then we'll have it unpin up top here so get on to the next part After some careful measuring and some welding. Oh. Of course we got another pad I gotta weld on up there, but this kind of gives you guys the general basic idea. Through up there and we'll pin it. And then there'll be a piece of angle iron or piece of uh, C channel welded to this at an angle solid to this piece and there will be a pin that slides in right about here to hold the whole mess together and then on top of that there will be another about a where is it? this pipe right there a slide inside of here and we'll have different adjustable places for the pin to hold. That way we can pick heavy stuff up, like cars and engines and all kinds of stuff. Well, let's get back to it.
After several hours of breathing in dust and smoke and welding all day long, we finally got done, got the boom pole set up done. The only thing I have left to do is to try and wire the winch, but it's the end of the day. It's snowing outside, I need to get home, but we will get this all wired up and show you what this thing can do. Well, it's the next day. We're obviously gonna need to put airbags on this thing or a little better suspension, but works. It seems to work pretty good. So we'll be seeing this thing a lot more in the future. Doing a lot more upgrades to it. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. We'll have the Dotson back.